There will be more state troopers on the roads this holiday weekend, but not quite as many as in prior years. The South Carolina Highway Patrol is having a tough time recruiting these days. Seven on your side's Robert Kittle explains why and what's being done to change that. Right now, South Carolina has about 790 state troopers. Each year, the patrol graduates two classes from the academy of about 40 new troopers each. That's enough to keep the total number steady when troopers retire or leave for other jobs, but not enough to add more. So the patrol is planning three classes next year with 55 slots each. That means they need even more applicants. But with the recent murders of law enforcement officers in other parts of the country, recruiting is getting harder. With that current climate, we have seen a reduction in the number of applicants that we have applied for the agency. Starting salary for a state trooper is $31,000 a year, and the head of the State Troopers Association says that does scare some people away. So next year, the head of the Department of Public Safety will be asking state lawmakers to raise that salary. The patrol is also stepping up its recruitment efforts, including now taking applications from out of state. And that includes going to career fairs throughout the state, whether it's colleges, universities. Same time, we're always building partnerships with colleges and universities, as well as our military installations, not only in-state, but also out-of-state. He says those who apply have a strong desire to serve the community, and they know going in that law enforcement is dangerous. And Hughes says despite the low starting pay, good state benefits and a good retirement plan help even that out, along with job satisfaction. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 on your side. So we can put these numbers in perspective a little bit. As Robert said, we have 790 troopers on the roads right now. Before the recession, there were about 1,000. And having fewer troopers can affect you and your family. It means it might take longer to get help on the road. And, and the state's fatality rate is about 100 deaths higher so far this year than the same time last year.